Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to learn how to make homemade chicken broth. This is a staple in my kitchen. Let me show you our ingredients. We start off with one onion. Did you notice I halved it? We're not chopping it, we keep it whole. Then I have an organic chicken. I made sure I cleaned it and it's now dry. I prefer to use whole carrots unpeeled, did not have it in my kitchen today. So I'm giving you baby carrots. I use this for my dog. I always have it in my refrigerator. So we're using what we have. Then I chopped up in thirds, three celery sticks. I leave the ends on. I think that they are going to only add flavor. Notice all that fennel I use. I'm gonna add this to my broth. So I save all these fronds for stocks, for broths, for soups. And I'm gonna use about a handful of thyme and one head of garlic, unpeeled. This is what goes in my broth. One last thing, I use whole peppercorn, black, so we're gonna stick that in. So come join me by my pot, and I'm going to take you through the first step. Step one, take your onion and place it in a pot that you've already heated on medium heat. Nothing else goes in the pot, it's completely dry. I'm placing my onions in here. You could hear the sizzling start. I'm gonna show you what it looks like but we're gonna get them nice and golden brown. I learned this really great chef tip from my father, Chef Pietro Moscone. Okay, so I got my onions nice and golden brown. Time to now add the rest of the ingredients. So I'm just gonna drop them in. I'm dropping in my carrots. I'm dropping in my fennel fronds, my celery, my head of garlic, my thyme, and of course, my chicken. Whoever said being in the kitchen, was easy, it's a workout. This pot is heavy. Whew. I'm gonna put in my remaining thyme leaves and I love to put a bay leaf in here as well. So just one bay leaf, I'm going to put my temperature on high. Skim it to get rid of that. If any kind of fat coming up to the surface, we don't want that in our soup. We want our soup to be clear. I'm calling it a soup. Check this out. I'm getting rid of, as my, as my broth is coming to a boil, do you see what's happening? We're getting a bunch of gunk, let's call it gunk, that's rising to the surface. We don't want that, look at that. After one hour of simmering, remove the chicken and let cool. Simmer the broth for one more hour uncovered skimming foam as necessary. Cut the chicken in little pieces and reserve. After the hour has passed, strain veggies and herbs from broth, refrigerate overnight, and skim any fat from surface. This broth can last up to one week in the refrigerator or three months in the freezer. I love adding brown rice or quinoa. I eat this all week long. Enjoy.